and welcome to Unscripted. I am your host, Love Bobby Joe. As you know, this is the show where it flows, nobody knows. Not even me. It's Unscripted, just like life. And today, I actually have a question for you. And it's a question that was asked to me that I have been reflecting upon as well. And that question is, how much good can you handle? How much good can you handle? Now you may hear that question and think, what are you talking about? How much good can I handle? I can handle all the good in the world. Bring it on, bring on the good, keep it coming, keep it coming. And I invite you to go deeper and ask, is that true? How much good can you handle? So where this came up for me is I was having a lot of good. A lot of good. And you know that feeling where it's almost like, <clears throat> excuse me, you feel like a bubble. It's, it feels like so much good. You're like this light, airy bubble, like floating. And it's amazing. And it's this wonderful high. All these good things are happening. And then out of nowhere, something comes along and pops your bubble. And you think, what just happened? Has that ever happened to you? Has anything ever popped your bubble when you're in a place of really a lot of good and a lot of happy? Now, when this happened, it got me curious. And working with my coach, I asked, is this normal? For this to happen, what am, what am I doing? You know, why, why does this happen? Because I'm not one of those people that says, and I know people who do this, that say, oh my gosh, so much good is happening. When is the other shoe going to drop? I don't have that question consciously in my mind. I actually am riding the bubble, super excited, so happy, it's so good. But yet there would be this pattern that I didn't understand why would something come along and pop my happy bubble, my good bubble? And while, yes, there are things that can happen around you, because as humans, we have that comfort zone, and we're all connected and have that comfort zone, even though we're uncomfortable in the comfort zone. So imagine a boat. Imagine that you're in a boat in the middle of the ocean, and you're in this boat, and you're not catching any fish here. So there's this part of you that's like, oh, if I row over that way, there could be this island, this beautiful island with tropical fruit, all the fish you could eat, pina coladas, you name it. And yet, either the world, the people in the boat, you in the boat, there's this feeling of yes and what if I start rowing to that island and I hit a storm. What if that island isn't there? So there's this pull that wants to keep us where we're at, in this boat, in the middle of the ocean, even if we're not catching fish. Why? Because it feels safe, we're surviving. So in these moments when things are transforming or changing and all this good is happening and you feel like, oh my goodness, I'm floating over to the island and something happens to pull you back, bringing into that awareness and asking yourself, like I was asked, how much good can you handle? Now seriously, because I don't say those things looking for when is the other shoe gonna drop, I thought like how I opened this, oh my gosh, I can handle all the good in the world, keep it coming. And the other question that was posed is, where are you living unconsciously? Where are you living unconsciously where you're just on that boat in the middle of the ocean, getting up, doing your thing, casting for fish, not catching fish, go to sleep, wake up the next day, doing the same motions in the same area unconsciously. And when I first heard that, I thought, I'm so conscious, right? Like I'm here, I'm active, I'm participating in life, but are you consciously participating in life? Reflecting upon that, I realized my body has been yearning for more exercise, more meditation, to be really conscious of these things rather than unconsciously moving through the day of 
getting up and doing the things or making the coffee or I need to go and respond to this or take care of this, but being very intentional and conscious and listening within and taking that aligned action. So I invite you to reflect upon where are you living unconsciously and how much good can you handle? Because here's the thing, once I became conscious in my day, very intentional, and I am intentional, but taking it into this really deeper level of being so super conscious, good started happening. Unsolicited opportunities started flowing in. I was not out there seeking. I simply became conscious. And the other beautiful thing about becoming conscious is that when these things started happening, again, the good, the good bubble was being created and I could feel that energy. Because I was conscious, I was able to feel the pin within me. I was able to notice the subtle resistance within my body. I was able to become aware of the voices in my head. Those little subtle things that before were so unconscious went unnoticed and I thought, why is my bubble being burst? By becoming conscious, I could see where I too held a pin to burst that bubble. Oh my goodness, that's not ready yet. That's not good enough. Oh my gosh, somebody just signed up for that. These different things, feeling that resistance, not allowing myself to receive fully, and receive that good. Another thing you can look upon with receiving and how much good can you handle. If somebody offers you a compliment, are you able to fully absorb it and receive it and say thank you? Or do you find yourself deflecting it? Oh, well, oh my goodness, you should talk. You're, you're amazing. You're so beautiful. Or, oh, this, this old thing? Oh my gosh, I got it at the thrift store for like $2. How much good can you handle? How much can you allow yourself to receive? Where might you be living unconsciously? Where might you be popping your own bubbles? So this week, I just invite you to start to reflect upon that. Where might you be living Groundhog Day? Where are you living unconsciously? Where might you be stopping the flow of what you want to receive? Where might you be stopping the row to get to your island? So as always, if you'd love to keep this conversation going and flowing, I invite you to join me in my free Backstage Pass community at lovebobbyjoe.com. Wishing you a beautiful and blessed week ahead, living super consciously and intentionally, and allowing yourself to receive more good. Thank you so much for joining me.